Hello everyone, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. The world is going through an AI boom with big companies like Google, Tesla and Amazon putting huge amounts of money into artificial intelligence. If you're ambitious, becoming an AI engineer is now one of the most exciting job options, combining the latest tech, problem solving and creativity. But before you begin, is AI the right path for you? AI engineering isn't for everyone. It requires a strong base in coding and math. So if those aren't your strengths, there are other roles like AI product manager, AI ethics executive, or AI sales representative. But if you love numbers, logic, and problem solving, AI engineer might be the perfect fit. So in this video, we'll dive into every step, skill, and resources you need to transform yourself into an AI engineer. So whether you're starting fresh or already have some tech knowledge, this guide will break down everything into manageable steps. So let's get started. So the first month is all about building foundations and getting started. So initially you have to research and explore. So you can start by conducting thorough research to get familiar with the AI field. Explore free resources and familiarize yourself with prominent industry leaders and emerging trends. This foundational understanding will give you a solid base to build upon in the coming months. Now in the first two weeks, you will be dealing with computer science fundamentals. So a strong grasp of computer science basics is essential especially if you are from a non-CS background. So spend these two weeks understanding core concepts such as how computers work, from bits and bytes to networks and programming logic. So these fundamentals will be invaluable as you progress toward coding and algorithmic thinking. Now in the second month, you'll be learning Python and data structures. So in the week three and week four, you'll be dealing with Python basics. So Python is a language of choice in AI and mastering it will be crucial. So dedicate these two weeks to understanding Python syntax, control structures and functions. And in parallel, create or update your LinkedIn profile to reflect your AI journey and start networking with professionals in the field. So you can see great tutorials by Simply Learn and Code with Hadi on YouTube, which can serve as excellent guides. And by the end of this phase, you'll have both a solid foundation in Python and a visible LinkedIn profile showcasing your goals in AI. Now in the fifth and sixth week, you'll be moving on to data structures. So understanding data structures is essential in AI as they form the backbone of efficient programming. So familiarize yourself with arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, and trees. So these concepts are not only critical for coding, but also for handling the large data sets you'll work with in AI projects. So strengthening this knowledge will improve your problem solving skills and help you write more efficient code. Now in the third month comes database management, data manipulation, and mathematics. So week seven to eight is all about SQL and databases. So data is central to AI, as you know, and much of it is stored in databases. So learning SQL will allow you to efficiently manage and query relational databases, an essential skill for any AI professional. So practice SQL basics and create sample databases using hands-on resources like SQL Bolt. So understanding SQL will prepare you for handling real-world data, which is critical for building AI models. Now week 9 to 10, you'll be dealing with data manipulation with NumPy and Pandas. So Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas are essential for data manipulation, a vital step in preparing data for AI applications. So use this time to master these tools, which will enable you to handle large data sets and perform complex operations. So these libraries make data manipulation more intuitive and efficient, streamlining your AI projects. Now the 11th and 12th week will be dealing with maths and statistics. So AI is deeply rooted in mathematic principles, as you know. So brushing up on essential maths and statistics is crucial. So focus on foundational concepts in linear algebra, probability, calculus, and statistics, which are directly applicable to AI algorithms. So several articles offer excellent resources for this, allowing you to build the quantitative skills you will need to understand and implement AI models. Now, before moving on, if you are interested in advancing your career in the field of AI and machine learning, Simply Learn's postgraduate program, delivered in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM, is a perfect opportunity. This highly ranked program offers a comprehensive curriculum covering essential topics like machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, and many more. With hands-on experience through 25 plus projects and access to 20 plus cutting edge tools, you will gain the skills needed to excel in today's competitive job market. So join now and elevate your expertise with the backing of Purdue's academic excellence and IBM's industry leading insights. You can find the course link in the description box and pin comments. Now moving on to month four, you'll be learning data analysis and core machine learning. 
So week 13 and 14 will all be about exploratory data analysis or EDA. So EDA is the first step in any data science project, allowing you to understand the structure, patterns, and anomalies within a data set. So practice EDA by working with real data sets from Kaggle, as this will give you hands-on experience in identifying valuable insights and trends. So by performing EDA on at least three data sets, you'll refine your skills in data interpretation, a key aspect of AI work. Now after that comes machine learning fundamentals. So this month, dive into the heart of AI, which is machine learning. So start with fundamental machine learning concepts such as linear regression, classification, clustering, and decision trees. So machine learning is the foundation of many AI applications, and understanding these basics will prepare you to build and evaluate models. So resources like Simply Learn's machine learning playlists on YouTube and Google's machine learning crash course, for example, offer accessible introductions to these core concepts. Now comes the fifth month where you'll be dealing with deployment, specialization, and more advanced topics. So you'll be moving on to MLOps basics. So MLOps, which is also called machine learning operations, focuses on putting machine learning models into production, ensuring they are scalable and maintainable. So learn about tools like Docker, FastAPI, and Kubernetes, which are essential for deploying AI models. So tutorials on YouTube can guide you through these tools. And by the end of this phase, try deploying a simple Python model with FastAPI and Docker. So once you're done with the MLOps basics, you'll be moving on to creating portfolio projects. So your portfolio is a showcase of your skills. So create one regression and one classification model project with a focus on deploying them to demonstrate your end-to-end -end capabilities. So these projects are crucial for job applications as they highlight your technical knowledge and ability to deliver real-world solutions. So next, you'll be moving on to introduction to deep learning. So deep learning powers advanced AI applications like image recognition and language models. So spend these weeks learning about neural networks, CNNs, RNNs, and other deep learning architectures. So tutorials on TensorFlow or PyTorch can help you get started. And as a hands-on project, try building a small deep learning model to apply what you have learned. And finally, the sixth month is about specialization, networking, and community engagement. So here first, you'll be specializing in NLP or computer vision. So specializing in a specific area such as natural language processing or computer vision can make you a more attractive candidate in the job market. So choose one of these areas and focus on building a mini project such as sentiment analysis or NLP or object detection for CV. So we have covered multiple projects on sentiment analysis and object detection. You can check out on Simply Learn's YouTube channel. After that comes mastering LangChain and large language models on LLMs. So LangChain and LLMs are some of the latest advancements in AI, particularly popular for applications like conversational AI. So spend these weeks learning about LangChain and explore implementing a basic project. So this experience will allow you to work with cutting edge technologies and add a valuable project to your resume. And finally, it's all about professional networking and soft skills. So AI is as much about community and collaboration as it is about technology. So use this time to actively engage with industry influencers on LinkedIn by commenting thoughtfully on their posts and sharing what you have learned. So these interactions build your professional network, enhance your visibility in the field, and establish relationships that could support your career growth in AI. So engage with online forums, attend webinars, and join AI meetups to solidify your industry presence and make valuable connections. So this roadmap is just the beginning of your AI career journey. With each new project and skill you acquire, you are not only building a strong AI foundation, but also shaping your own story in this booming field. So AI isn't just about algorithms and code. It's about solving real-world problems, driving innovation, and changing the way we live. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. If you have any questions or doubt, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.